Honey, Kulsum. Good. And Syed, you did not come to the last class. Okay. Voice is coming very low. All right. So we have completed the differentiation part of continuity and differentiability. Now we have to start with continuity. But before that, this is a revision class for limits. All right. What is limits and what is not? how to evaluate limits so what is limit can anyone tell me if anyone remembers what limit is krishna ronaldo what is limit or what do we do with limits So limits are like uh, points where uh, it can never be reached, but we just say that it tends to that point. Yes, somehow that is like absolutely matching the definition, right? But this is in the gray area. So yes, we use limits when the function is non-existent at some point. All right, non-existent at some point or it is existing but somewhere outside of the function so what does it say if i write limit f of x x tending to a first of all this is read as this limit of function f of x x tending to a right what does this mean x tending to a x is approaching the value a now approaching means slowly coming towards a slowly coming towards it can it can come from two sides right side and left side right suppose a is 4 then we can put x equals to 3.9 3.99 3.999 and so on so it is gradually approaching to the value of 4 same thing we can do with the right side if we put x equals to 4.1, 4.01, 4.001, 4.0001. So this is also approaching to the value 4. Right? So x is tending to a. And this thing you always have to remember, x is never equals to a. But it is very, very, very close to a. All right? x is never equals to a but x is very very close to a this is called limits this is called limiting value whatever value you get from this the output of f of x is called limiting value that means the function is approaching why when x is approaching a this is the definition of limit all right the function is approaching y when x is approaching a this thing is clear everyone yes sir. Limits? all right so for an example here Suppose f of x is x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. What will be f of 2? We are not talking about limits here, just f of 2. Not defined. Not defined because as soon as you put f equals to 2, this will be 0. And in, we don't like 0 in the denominator. Now we have to find the limiting value of extending to 2. So what we have to do? First, come to 2 from the left side, then right side. So this left side thing is called 
L H N left hand limit. How do we write that? Two minus two minus is not equal to minus two. Remember this. Two minus means coming from the left side, and on the right side we say R H L left uh, right hand limit. And that is written as limit of of x x tending to two plus right hand limit. Or you can remember this as limit f of x two minus h limit f of x two plus h where h is very small positive number right if you are standing at two then two plus h will be on the right side two minus h will be at the left side that is why this is left hand limit right hand limit this thing is clear yes sir all right now how to evaluate left hand limit in the left hand limits you can simply find the value as limit f of see instead of 2 minus h if you are finding limit f of x at x equals to a then just put a minus h where h is tending to 0 instead of putting x equals to 2 here we can put 2 minus h where h is tending to 0 h is almost 0 so 2 minus h will be almost 2 so we are finding the value at 2 but instead of we are finding the value at almost 2 this thing is clear what i am saying or does yes. anyone feel like listening to chinese language Everyone is clear. Only Krishna responding. Salva, Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. All right. Kulsum. Yes, sir. All right. So this is left hand limit, and right hand limit will be limit f of a plus h, where h is tending to zero. This thing you have to remember. How to evaluate? Right, two plus h, where h is almost zero. So two plus h will be almost two. But what is happening? First we are moving from the left side, then we are moving from the right side. Now if this two values are equal, then limit exists. Otherwise, limit does not exist. Right? The left side, the left side is saying, I am reaching to the value two. the right hand side is saying i am reaching to the value 3 then obviously we cannot get a single value of f of x when it is reaching 2 so limit cannot exist only when left hand side and right hand side both are equal then limit exist and we say limiting value is any of this all right so this is the like introduction of limit i hope this is clear everyone Yes, sir. All right. If anyone wishes, then write it down also. I'll give you two three minutes. This is very messy.
Then everyone. Done, sir. All right. So this is what limit is. Now evaluation. Then methods of evaluating limits. Generally, we have four system. If anyone remembers the differentiation of numerator and denominator. All right, Shikani, you did not understand anything from that. Then why were you silent from the beginning? All right, let me think of an example where I'll explain a bit easy. Anyone else who doesn't understand what limit is? You can be honest. Ronaldo, Kulsum, Said, Krishna. No, sir, understood. All right. Shikhani, basically, what limit is? All right. You guys, you use Instagram, YouTube, right? Everyone? Yes or no? Yes. Right. So there is a thing called friend zone. Right. I hope you know what that means. Friend zone. Limit is friend zone. Right. There is no specific value at A. But if I write X tending to A, so this is, they are almost a couple. They are almost a couple, but not a couple. Because X has friend zone A. Shekhani, now this is clear. I hope. No, still not. I could not understand, Shivani, what you said. Let me say again what this means. We cannot find the exact value at A. Right? We cannot find the exact value at A. But what we can do, we can approach from the left side and the right side and look at the neighborhood. Like suppose, Shikhani, uh, this is your neighborhood. All right. There are many flats or many houses where you live. And this is your, your house. I don't know how rich you are. All right. I absolutely have no knowledge. So what I can do? I am banned to enter at your home. So what I can do? I can look at the neighborhood. Your ask photos. Right. How much rich is your ask photos? Which area you live in? That can also signal how much money you have, right? If you have a lot of money, you might live with Ambani. If you don't, then you might live with me, right? So this is what limit is. Basically, we cannot get to A, but we can reach from neighborhood sides, from left side and right side, and look at the approximate value. Like where is the function tending? What is the function signaling? This thing is clear now? Everyone? Yes, sir. All right. I have to use some weird numbers to make Shikhani understand every time. But that is cool. Now methods of solving or evaluating limits. There are generally four methods. Does anyone know what they are? First is direct substitution. What this means, I'll explain. Factorization, rationalization. You should write this down, everyone. And standard limits. Four basic methods you have in your syllabus, direct substitution, factorization, rationalization, standard limits. If anyone knows, knows law of Peter rule, something like this spelling is, like differentiate the numerator and denominator, you get the answer. Don't use that in boards. You will not be awarded marks for that. All right, if you know this method, this is very easy method, but you can use this in competition, but not in boards. 
this thing is clear yes all right so write this down four methods now what is first method direct substitution and always you have to go through this order when solving question first try this method then this method then this method then this method all right if the question is like obvious which which method to use then you can move forward straight forward but this is the order to go always try to put direct substitution first what is direct substitution if you face like limit x tending to 2 x square plus 2x plus 2 what is the value of x square plus 2x plus 2 at 2 and the first way to solve is just put the value of x as 2 All right. Just put the value of x as two. So this will be two square plus two into two plus two. What is the answer? Ten. Right. Four plus four eight plus two ten. So we did not get any infinite, not defined anything like that. We are getting very simple answer ten. so no need to do anything else we can just put the value of x as 2 we can say the function is tending towards 10 when x is approaching 2 this thing is clear yes sir all right everyone this is clear kulsum ronaldo shikani said yes sir all right this is direct substitution noted down let me give you a few questions limit 3x square plus 4x plus 5 x tending to 1 try to simplify this solve this then so all right shirani have you solved this ronaldo kulsum yes sir done shirani what about you yes sir All right. So how to solve? Just put the value of x as so. This is three in plus four plus five. So uh, no, twelve is the answer. All right. Very simple question. Let's try another one. Limit x square minus four upon x plus three, x tending to two. Try to solve this one. Very simple question. Yes, 
absolutely right shikhani right said absolutely right everyone solve this yes sir so the answer is zero very simple next question limit x tending to 0 under root 1 plus x plus under root 1 minus x upon 1 plus x all right solve this one all right so you guys are facing trouble shekhani just put the value everyone solve this yes sir शिखानी लॉक कर दिया जाए ऑल राइट आप जीत चुके हैं दस करोड़ रुपए ऑल राइट सो दिस इज जस्ट फुट दी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो वन प्लस वन टू अपॉन वन वॉट इज द आंसर शिखानी Under root one is one. Under root one is one upon one. So the answer is two. All right, Chikani. All right. So I think everyone is clear about this. No issues there. Now factorization method. all right so what is factorization method just like the previous question we solved limit x minus x tending to 2 x square minus 4 upon x minus 2 see in this question as soon as you put x equals to 2 the numerator gives us 4 minus 4 and the denominator gives us 2 minus 2 4 minus 4 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 0 upon 0 is what is 0 upon 0 Zero. zero. All right, everyone. This is clear. Zero upon zero is. So not defined. Not defined, right? Said Pulsum. Zero. Right. Zero upon zero is not defined. Whenever there is zero in the denominator, we cannot define anything. All right. No matter what is there in the numerator, zero. If it is in denominator, this is not defined. We don't want this, so we cannot put x equals to two directly. So direct substitution is failed here. All right. We cannot use that method. So what to do? Who is making this zero? X minus two. So if we can cancel this factor from the denominator somehow, then we'll get. to use direct substitution so what we can do here limit i can write this a square minus b square x square minus 2 square upon x minus 2 yes or no everyone yes sir now a square minus b square identity x minus 
x plus 2 whole divided by x minus 2 x tending to 2 so x minus 2 x minus 2 is cancelled so limit x tending to 2 x plus 2 now we can use direct substitution again put x equals to 2 so we get 4 so the limit value is 4 this thing is clear yes sir all right Kulsum, Shikani, Saeed, okay. Ronaldo. Yes, sir. All right. Note it down. This is called factorization method. Just factorize the terms, numerator, denominator, and cancel things out. You'll get the answer. So first question on this. Solve this after noting this down. Limit x tending to 2 x square minus 5x plus 6 upon x square minus 4. All right, Ronaldo, can you check the process again? You have a different answer than also my. Yes. Let's see. Shekani, what about you? All right, let's see. Limit x tending to 2. How to factorize this? x square minus 5x plus 6. Sir, x minus 3 into x minus 2. So first step would be to write this as 2x minus 3x plus 6. Right? 
Yes. And this is x square minus two square. This is equals to limit x tending to two. Taking x common, x minus two. Taking minus three common, x minus two. Upon this is x minus two, x plus two. So limit x tending to two. Taking x minus two common, we have x minus three. X minus two, x plus two. This is cancelled. Now you can put the value directly. So two minus three is minus one upon two plus two is four minus one upon four. Ronaldo, this is clear. Yes. All right. Next question on this. Limit x tending to one. X cube minus one upon x minus one. Try to solve this one. Done, sir. All right. I did not receive Ronaldo and Shikani's answer. Ronaldo, you know equipment is BQ formula. Like what is this formula? A minus B. 
into a square plus a b plus b square right everyone yes sir so this is x minus 1 x square plus x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 this is divided cancelled out so x equals to 1 we can directly put 1 plus 1 plus 1 the answer is 3 very easy if you remember this identity all right next question the last question of factorization limit extending to 2 x cube minus 3x square plus 4 whole divided by x raised to the power 4 minus 8x square plus 16. All right, try to solve this one.
All right, who has all this? Anyone has all this? Krishna, Pulsum, Said? Just a minute, sir. All right. And Shikani, how did you get the answer zero? By solving, like, how did you solve? That is what I'm asking. How did you factorize this? All right. But if you put x equals to 2 directly here, then this is 8 minus 12 plus 4. So the numerator is 0, but the denominator is also 0. So you are getting 0 by 0. And 0 by 0 is not 0. That is why you have to factorize first. Right. Yes, so that is not acceptable in mathematics. Zero by zero is not acceptable. Krishna, have you solved this? No, sir. Are you solving this? Uh, sir, I'm not getting the way to solve it. All right, I can tell you. No, no, Shekhani, this is not undefined. You have to simplify this. That is the purpose of limits right so how to factorize this you must remember class 9th factorizing cubic equations by using hit and tile method so you have to check for 0 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 which number satisfies this equation so if you put 0 0 minus 0 plus 4 not equal to 0 let's put 1 so 1 cube is 1 minus 3 is minus 2 plus 4 is not 0. So not cool minus 1. So minus 1 cube is minus 1. And this is minus 3 plus 4. This is 0. So we can say x plus 1 is a factor of the numerator. Right, Krishna? Yes. Sir. Then what you have to do? Divide this x cube minus 3x square plus 4 with x plus 1 then you will get a quadratic something something then you have to factorize this you will get the factorized form of the numerator all right i used x plus 2 and i got answer 3 by 16. Yes, that you can also do because yes that is a nice way to solve because we know that x putting x equals to 2 becomes 0 that means x plus 2 is also a factor. So you can divide by x plus 2 also. No issues. All right. Let me solve this. Do you, do you guys want to try this? Or should I solve this? So Krishna, what about Nando? the below, one, below equation? Denominator, you can see. There are a few ways to solve equations, right? Quadratic, we know how to solve. Cubic, this is the method. Whenever you see cubic equation, until and unless there is a cube minus b cube, you have to use this method, hit and tile. By quadratic, x to the power 4. Always assume x square is t. All right? As soon as put x square equals to t, you can see this is t square minus 8t plus 16. This is very easy to factorize. Now just put the value back to x square. You can factorize the whole equation. All right. Okay. So you guys want to try this? Yes. All right. Ronaldo, Silva. All right.
all right everyone solve this got a lot of time krishna sir closed the answer right ronaldo ronaldo your voice is not coming coming through yes chikani all right let's see so this is x cube minus 3x square plus 4 divided by x plus 2 so this will be x square so x cube plus 2x square minus minus is 3 upon 16 absolutely right so this is cancelled we have minus 5x square plus 4 So minus five x you have to multiply. So minus five x square minus ten x plus plus so ten x plus four you have, and ultimately you have to multiply with. Did I write the equation right, or did I do something wrong? Let me see. Sir, it's x minus. Sorry. So x minus two, right? Oh, x equals to two. We are putting yes, x minus two, right? Definitely, this is. Let me divide again. X cube minus three x square plus four. X minus two, because we are putting limit x tending to two. So x minus two will be factor. So x square first term would be x cube minus two x square. So this is minus plus so minus x square plus four minus x minus x square minus two x. So this is plus plus two x plus four. So plus two, and we get the answer two x minus four. This is also not getting cancelled. Am I writing the equation right or not? Someone is speaking, but voice is not calm. Who is speaking? Ronaldo, the voice is not coming through. Now type it out. Let me look at the question. X cube minus three x square plus four. X cube minus three x square plus four. Limit extending to two. Extending to two. X minus two. X cube minus two x square. So this becomes plus plus minus x square plus four. So right. it's minus two x square. Which one is minus two x square? Oh, sorry, plus two x square minus two x square. Absolutely right. So this is minus five x square, right? So we will be needing minus five x. No sir, no sir, not that. So it's x square plus four only. Which part you are saying? Let me do the complete division again. No worries. Just tell me the equations. What you wrote? X minus two. Let's divide. What is the equation here? So x cube minus three x square. X cube minus three x square plus four. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. All right. So first we have to multiply with x square. So x cube minus two x square. So this is minus. This is plus. So minus x square plus four. Now we have to multiply with minus x. So minus x square plus two x plus minus. So minus two x plus four. We have to multiply minus two. 
minus 2x plus 4, right? What did I, what did I do wrong then? Here? Minus 2, uh, minus was in there, in minus 2x. Oh, okay, this mistake. All right, no worries. So, in the numerator, we can write x minus 2, x square minus x minus 2. In the denominator, what is the equation becoming? What is the equation? Can anyone tell me? x raised to the power 4, then? Minus 8x square plus 4. Oh. Plus 4. Plus 16. Plus 16. All right. So, t square minus 8t plus 16. So, 4, 4. t minus 4 whole square. This is, I guess. Uh, yes or no? Yes, sir. All right. So this is x square minus 4 whole square. So we can factorize this more. So x minus 2, x minus 2, we will be getting. What is the answer you are getting, guys? What is the answer that you are getting? Sir, I solved until here only. Just solve until here. All right, Kulsum, what did you do further? We have x minus 2 whole square, x plus 2 whole square. Now, what to do? 1x minus 2 is cancelled. Did you factorize this again? One second, sir. All right. You have to factorize this again, right? Because if you put x yes, equal sir. to 2. Factorize again. Yes, because if you put x equal to 2 again, then this will be infinite. But yes, let me tell you one thing here. Suppose this was x square minus x plus 2. Suppose. All right. Then we could, could not factorize this further. Then the answer would be infinite. Because this factor will not be getting cancelled anyway. All right. But now because we can cancel this out, we can factorize and get a solid answer. But if this was, suppose the question was x square minus x plus 2. I think this is not factorizable. So x minus 2, x plus 2 whole square. Now, no matter what you do, you cannot remove this x minus 2 from the denominator. So the final answer would be infinite. Am I getting, like, uh, is this thing clear? Everyone? So how would we know it's not factorizable? Because you cannot factorize. Just check uh, discriminate. D, B square minus 4AC. If that is negative, then cannot factorize, right? No real roots. Oh, yes. I hope this is clear, everyone. Yes, yes or no? Kulsum Sahib. And Ronaldo. All right. So if not factorizable, then infinite is okay. Limit has no issue with infinite. Limit has issue with indeterminate form. I hope you remember seven in indeterminate form we have in like mathematics. Zero by zero, one to two by infinite and so on. So that is the issue in limit, but if you get infinite, that is okay. But always try to factorize as much as you can. So how to factorize this, Krishna? X square minus X minus two upon X minus two X plus two whole square. How to factorize this? Nobody can tell me how to factorize this. Minus 2x square to multiply minus 2x addition is minus x. You can write x square minus 2x plus x minus 2. x minus 2, x plus 2 whole square. Yes or no, Krishna? Yes, sir. Now you can take x common. So x minus 2 plus 1 common x minus 2 upon x minus 2, x plus 2 whole square. So x minus 2 will be cancelled. x plus 1 upon x plus 2 whole square. Putting the value of x as 2. So this is 3 upon 4 square is 16. 3 by 16. This is the answer, which is absolutely correct. Kulsum side. Correct answer. 
all right everyone is getting this or not like is this thing too much everyone it's clear sir clear all right just tell me if you feel like sir this is getting too difficult just be honest no issues i can understand so let's try next method which is rationalization who can tell me what is rationalization what is rationalization One upon root two plus one upon root three. So converting something irrational to a uh, rational. Right, and that we did by. We did something by like this, multiplying like this, right? Whatever yes. in the denominator or in the numerator, just change the sign and multiply in the numerator and denominator. So this will be root two minus root three upon root two square minus root three square. Same thing we have to do here. let me give you an example give me a minute 2 minus 3 and the uh, voice is not coming through whoever is saying something this is limit x tending to 0 under root 2 plus x minus root 2 upon x so first method is to check directly direct substitution so if you put x equal to 0 this is root 2 minus root 2 upon 0 so 0 upon 0 is indeterminate we cannot do anything about that now is factorization we obviously cannot factorize this also so coming to the next method rationalization what we can do here limit x tending to 0 root 2 plus x minus root 2 upon x Just multiply this thing by changing the sign between them. Root two plus x plus root two upon root two plus x plus root two. This step is clear. Yes, sir. Shikani. Shikani. Yes, sir. All right. So this will be limit x tending to zero. This is root two plus x whole square minus root two square. Upon x times root two plus x plus root two. So this is limit extending to zero. Root two plus x square is two plus x minus two upon x into root two plus x plus root two. So two and two is cancelled. X and x is cancelled. So limit extending to zero one upon root two plus x plus root two. So put x equals to zero. So root two plus root two, two root two. So the answer is one upon two root two. This thing is clear. Yes, sir. All right. Kulsum, Said, Ronaldo. Yes, sir. All right. This is called rationalization. All right. It doesn't matter if the numerator is like uh, like filled with under root functions or the denominator. Just multiply. And divide by same thing, changing the sign, you will get the answer. Note it down. Then I'll give you few questions. X tending to zero. X upon under root a plus x minus under root a minus x. Solve this.
all right solve it everyone yes sir so limit x tending to 0 is multiplied by a plus x plus a plus a minus x and this here i can write directly also right uh, a plus x whole square minus a minus x whole square i hope this step is clear because the denominator will be multiplied here and this will become square so limit x tending to 0 x under root a plus x plus under root a minus x a plus x minus a minus x so limit x tending to 0 x under root a plus x plus under root a minus x a and minus a will get cancelled and this is 2x so x and x cancelled now we can directly put x equals to 0 under root a plus under root a is 2 under root a by 2 is under root a this is the final answer absolutely correct krishna and said ronaldo kulsum shikani This is clear. Yes, sir. All right. So this is all for today's class. Now is for your test. All right. Few minutes are left for uh, limits, like few topics. Then we can start continuity. But now is the time for test. So give me two minutes. You can note it down. Until then, I'll share the test paper with you. all right everybody everybody can see the paper yes sir all right i would request everyone to start the videos all right and you have 30 minutes for this paper and i hope everyone will score good marks on this because in the last exam everybody scored really bad all the best guys
the question two is why it is to the power m could you repeat that sir yes that is m m for the money okay. all right Shikani, you cannot ask me how to solve during the exam, right? Please keep that question for the next class.
actually change this Gaussian to x raised to the power m and y raised to the power n. All right, Kulsum. This is n. I solved it using both the question. N is better. All right, you can prove by n. But we are getting the same answer for both. For y to the power m also. Yeah. All right, then good. But you can solve using any of the form x raised to the power m, y raised to the power n, or x to the power m, y raised to the power m, whichever is suitable for you. All right.
ऑल राइट लास्ट टू मिनट प्लीज प्रिपेयर प्रिपेयर योर पीडीएफ्स डी 